B-Sides is back with a whole slew of new songs, characters, and lore. I've asked this once, and I'll ask it again. What do we really know about it? Here's 10 things about Funkin' B-Sides. Do I even have to say it? You know the drill. D-Sides 3.0 tops off the main story with two of the final weeks from the main game, as well as adding some new D-Side covers of classic mods like Tricky and Zardy. But we'll get to that eventually. Within the main menu is now an art gallery that features a render and some lore on each main week character. But if you want some lore on the covers, you gotta refer to the lore doc. The free play menu now has three separate lists of playable songs, main weeks, D-Side covers, and dev covers, but the rest of the mod's UI is relatively unchanged. I already covered Sensei's lore in a previous D-Side video, so I'm just gonna do a quick recap. Sensei and Dwayne have the same dynamic as Senpai and Spirit, one being an actual video game character and the other being a damned soul trapped within. Daddy Dearest sealed Dwayne within this fighting game world due to him becoming too close to girlfriend and asking for the Dearest's blessing to date her. This is where we find him now, trapped within a fighting game. A fucking fighting game, to be exact. The filter used on this stage gives the effect of a CRT screen akin to old TVs and arcade cabinets. And as someone who grew up in the CRT generation, there's something to nostalgic about barely legible text. This week's design, songs, and stage are all based on old fighting games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. D-Side's Roses opening is literally just the Mortal Kombat theme but with beat their meat instead of test your might. Sensei is also very protective of his journal as he's written down all of his moves and abilities in it. Because of this, it can be assumed that the journal is just moveset inputs like Street Fighter. Dwayne's appearance differs from Spirit's in that instead of floating, his spectral form emanates from the ground and has vine-like tendrils that protrude from his fiery form. He is also much larger than Spirit, and seemingly a lot more level-headed as Dwayne agrees to let boyfriend and girlfriend go as long as they come back for him. John Plainman, yes that's his last name, is the main antagonist of Week 7 and is the D-Sides version of Tankman. We've actually seen Plainman before in the mod's opening Newgrounds bumper. Plainman is effectively Tankman, but flies a plane. He's a respected member of the military, has a trusty sidekick named Steve, and just loves to goof off. Just like the current base game, Week 7 is the only week with fully animated cutscenes between songs. In the cutscene before Stress, we catch our first ever look of Boyfriend's parents, Mixie and Greg. Virtual.rom is D-Side's Mario EXE from Mario's Madness. The stage's song takes place on is completely red, in reference to the Virtual Boy, a console that was Nintendo's first attempt at 3D technology and was a commercial failure. The stage in question is from the game Mario Clash, which explains the turtle shells littered throughout, as a main mechanic of the game is to defeat all the enemies. Virtual.rom isn't a malevolent being, and actually simply enjoys the peace of being left alone. When someone disturbs this peace is when he resorts to contorting, ripping, and changing his body to scare off anyone being a nuisance. The poor guy just wants to be left alone. The disturbing appearance of Virtual during his transformation is based on the scoring screen tile set in Mario Clash's files. The versus Tricky song Improbable Outset gets a cover in this update. We see D-Side's Tricky as more jester-themed, with bells on his hat and a smiling theater mask that both follow this theme. It appears that D-Side's Tricky still has an improbability drive, as we can see him bugging out in a similar manner during this track. The stage takes place in a Floridian theme park, as opposed to a Nevadan desert but still doesn't change the fact that the surrounding area is desolate and abandoned. Though the other tracks from Versus Tricky haven't received covers yet, we have been given teasers of the upcoming designs. With his mask removed in Madness, Tricky's face is completely missing, and his eyes, or lack of eyes, have a yellow glint to them. We also got a teaser of Tricky's D-side hell clown form, sporting a large goat-like skull, bat-like wings, and flames that wreathe its form the shape of his gesture hat. D-Side Zardy is completely unrecognizable compared to his original appearance. Wielding a massive scythe, shrouded in a cloak highlighted by pink chains, Zardy has a much more sinister stature in this mod. Zardy is a grim reaper, taking damned souls to the afterlife. Because of this, Pump is the perfect opponent for this cover of Foolhardy, as he himself is dead but never passed on. This song is also our first look at D-Side's Leela, being held by Zardy's chains as opposed to vines. Dwayne's gravestone can be seen in the background of this stage, meaning the world assumes that he's dead. Spoinky Boinky is a strange round creature with two legs and an arm sprouting from his head. Spoinky is unique in that opposed to being a D-Sides variant of a character, his addition to the mod is a continuation of the one he originates from. The concept for Versus Spoinky Boinky was that each team member was given a different role in production, swapped to the aspect of mod making that they are the worst at. The tongue-in-cheek humor of the song made many fans believe Spoinky to be a D-Sides version of Bob, but that is not the case. Spoinky is joined by a pink bunny named Scrinkly, and the giant mech that interrupts the song partway through is piloted by Cumlord Shit Guzzler. Just like Spoinky, he also has an arm protruding from the top of his head, but also has cat-like ears and a stretched bean-shaped figure, implying he is a different species. 
B-Sides now has two new Orpal Guy covers, a remake of the Ved Guy song, D Guy, and a cover of Performance. Ved Guy's sprites have been redone for this remade cover, giving him a rounder, friendlier appearance. Something I failed to mention in the last D-Sides video is that Ved Guy is actually the one in the bunny suit during Easter, deciding to wear the spring bunny suit for Easter to promote the restaurant. D-Sides' version of Performance features Foxy and Chica, and gives us a first look at their new designs. Chica is now green and sporting chef attire, and Foxy is now blue and dressed like a cat burglar. The stage takes place during an episode of Fred Bear and Friends, as the characters originate from a television show as opposed to a live stage performance. There's now also a dev cover of the song Lore, featuring Jimbo, Kluge, and Deacon, as well as a cover of Bite called Fort Bite, in which the devs protect Leo from a Fortnite bounty. Something that version 3 introduced to D-Sides is the ability to play certain songs as different characters, not only changing the playable skins, but introducing new vocals. Though currently only Boyfriend, stage name XML, Girlfriend, and Pico are choices, there was going to be another choice. D-Sides Miku was going to be one of them, as seen by the fact that her entire playable sprite sheet can be seen in the game's files. She still planned to make an appearance in the future, likely for one of 3.0's hotfix updates. Speaking of future updates, even though the main story of D-Sides has caught up with current day Funkin', there are still plans for a 4.0 and even a 5.0 update. These updates will focus on well-known and loved characters of songs from various popular mods in the Funkin' catalog. For example, as a treat for fans for getting the past 10k followers on Twitter, director Dastardly Deacon shared a song list and even a few designs for upcoming tracks. An example of this is D-Sides Hypno, which is actually the ghost Pokemon Palisand, named Pala Swamp. Witty, Carol, Hex, Versus Imposter, and Hank, to name a few, are all plans to make a future appearance in an upcoming update, with even more being announced through Dastardly Deacon's Twitter. And that's another 10 things about these sides. I hope you enjoyed. Took me a minute to sink my teeth into this one, but we're back to making 10 things regularly again, so hopefully future updates won't take so long to cover. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time.